to protect the quality of your family's lifestyle. You and your husband both need term life insurance, so call now for a free quote for the both of you. 800-915-9658-800-915-9658. This is Car Concerns with your host, Harry Douglas. Now, here's Harry. Okay, here we are back with Car Concerns Radio USA. Hey, it's going to be the Halloween weekend. I want you to turn your headlights on this evening, and I want you to watch out for the uh, the smaller children out there that might be trick-or-treating in your neighborhoods. I know it, right behind me at the Car Concerns compound, the community back up here, it's like a, it's like a block party. And they all get out and they watch for their children, go from uh, door to door. But uh, it's fantastic what they do back there. Uh, in Briarcliff. Uh, but anyhow, I was talking to you, uh, the car we're driving this week. You know, we get a brand new car to drive every single Tuesday morning. Uh, they drop it off here at the Car Concerns Compound or either out at the Car Concerns Radio Proving Grounds, one or the other. And uh, this week, we, it, it's a fantastic, now it's a little bit small for me. You know, I'm a man man. And uh, but but I love this car. It's kind of like a sports car. It's it's a four door sports car. It's a four door sedan. And it is the Lexus IS 350 all wheel drive sedan. We've been driving it since Tuesday. I gotta tell you, this is a fantastic vehicle. Lexus, you know how to build cars. That's all there is to it. Along with your uh, big brother Toyota, they just do a fantastic job on vehicles. Uh, and since we kicked General Motors out of the Car Concerns Radio Proving Grounds, no more General Motors cars out of the Car Concerns Proving Grounds, you can come back when you pay the American taxpayer back the $11 billion that you owe them. And if you're shopping this weekend and you're shopping for it and you're going to the General Motors dealership, shame on you. But if you are at the General Motors dealership, do me a favor. Go in there and say, hey, Harry Douglas sent me in here to see you, and and I'm talking to the dealer principal. That's who I want you to talk to, the guy or the gal who has their name on the front of the building. I want you to go in there and just make a request. Say, hey, I'm out here buying this new Malibu from you, but Harry Douglas wanted me to come in here and talk to you and ask you to call up to the Ren Ren Center. That's the uh, world headquarters for General Motors up at the Detroit, up in Detroit, the Renaissance Center. He wanted me to come in here and ask you to call Mary Barra and ask her to go ahead and pay back the $11 billion that uh, General Motors is hiding behind, like cowards, hiding behind the bankruptcy. You know, we gave them like $68 billion to survive in 2008 and 2009, and I went right along with Senator Carl Levin. Okay, this is a good idea. Uh, It's going to save a lot of jobs. It's going to stop the chaos in the streets. So back in 2009, I endorsed endorsed the plan. Carl Levin was getting on... Excuse me, I hit hit my ring on the table here. Um... Carl Levin was getting on CNBC like Howard Schultz is this morning, uh, pitching uh, Starbucks. Uh, Carl Levin was pitching the bailout, the auto bailout. And he was on CNBC, I remember, sitting here doing the show and listening to him during the breaks. It'll be the best thing. It'll save a lot of jobs. And uh, and, and we'll keep General Motors going as they go through this uh, this horrendous time that the financial crisis created. I don't know, you remember, no credit was anywhere. So I endorsed that. I said, okay, the American uh, taxpayer should belly up and help General Motors out here to stay in business. They couldn't have stayed in business without it. Today, if uh, that happened, yeah, they were scaring uh, everybody to death that there'd be chaos in the streets. And uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of jobs would be lost. Now, the Obama Auto Task Team come into uh, the Ren Ren Center, 
and pointed out dealers that they wanted to close. They said General Motors had too many dealers, which is crazy. That's like saying General Motors has too many customers because the dealers are actually General Motors. That's who that's who buys their cars, the dealers, not you. You buy the cars from the dealer, the middleman, so he can make a lot of money off of you. I, I never have figured out uh, how Dell computers could sell uh, computers directly to the public, and General Motors couldn't sell automobiles directly to the public. It blows my mind. So you have to go down to the dealer. But anyhow, when you're at the dealership, I want you to go into the dealer principal, and I want you to ask him. He can call Mary Barra. He has her number up at the Renaissance Center, and they will answer him uh, when he calls because, hey, he's their customer. And when he calls, I want you just to tell him to make this plain statement. You know, Mary, we could sell a lot more of these General Motors, these Chevrolets, these Buicks, these GMCs, these Cadillacs. We could sell a lot more of those if we take this bad taste out of the retail automotive consumer's mouth that we screwed them out of $11 billion. We hid behind the, like cowards, behind the bankruptcy and didn't pay back $11 billion. Okay, I'm over that. I'm not, I'm not talking about it anymore. If you're going to be out there car shopping this weekend and you're at a General Motors dealership, go in there and demand that General Motors pay that money back. Hey, it'll be a lot smoother for them. They're making billions of dollars every single quarter because people who don't listen to this show go in there like idiots and buy a new Chevrolet Silverado truck or a Camaro or a Corvette or a Cadillac or a, or a Chevy Cruze. They're selling those Chevy Cruze like crazy. And it's a good little vehicle. We had one out uh, at the Car Concerns Radio Proving Grounds before we banned them, before we blocked them from dropping those cars off there. And, uh, yeah, it was a pretty good little old car for, I don't, the best I remember, is about $25,000. Four banger. Uh, got good gas mileage, and it looked good. But anyhow. So... What I was telling you about earlier about the Car Concerns Corvette, here's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking we're going to switch because I, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to go buy a Chevrolet Corvette from General Motors knowing they owe us all this money. So I'm thinking about going and buying a Porsche Cayman. Now we had a Porsche Cayman out at the Car Concerns Radio Proving Grounds. It was a Cayman S. Here's a sheet on it. And uh, the window sticker on it was 88,835 dollars. That's about the price of a, of a good loaded out Corvette. Corvette used to be a great buy. You could buy one for fifty thousand dollars. You just can't do it now. But anyhow, we're going to go buy us a Porsche Cayman S, and we're going to put it in the car concerns wrap, and it'll be the uh, Cayman. Cor it'll be the Cayman. Car Concerns Porsche. That'll be the official name for it. If you want to buy, if you want to be a sponsor of this, give me a call, 1-855-CAR-CONCERNS, 1-855-CAR-CONCERNS. It'll get your logo plenty of exposure as we take it to car shows, uh, SEMA. Uh, let's see, we're having the Car Concerns. Last year we had the Car Concerns Corvette at the LA Auto Show. Uh, the 2014 L.A. Auto Show. This year, we're not out there at the L.A. Auto Show. Uh, we're going to be doing this Porsche Cayman. But anyhow, I'm Harry Douglas. I've run out of time here. Hey, if you want to call me while you're on that car deal, 1-855-CAR-CONCERNS, 1-855-CAR-CONCERNS. I'm always looking out for you. Talk to you on the next Car Concerns Radio.